Hello guys, welcome back to some Factorio. Um, so the wall is completed, uh, for the most, well, okay, not completed, but like, I have like, uh, you actually, we don't have vision on that, but I'll fix that, uh, when we get there. Uh, I'm just, uh, we're, we're stopping with wall building for now, um, cause it's, there's no point. Uh, we're going into train building now. We are, uh, a happy train family now. So that's, uh, that's how we're gonna do this now. So... Uh, I'm gonna basically add some lines here because uh, the only reason is because I actually want it to back up like what you see here. Uh, I actually want it to do that. I'm gonna take some more steel. I'm gonna take all the engines here. All right, so we can make a locomotive. We unfortunately need a bit more. Okay, there we go. We get two locomotives. Uh, that's a good start. Um, and then we need like, uh, how many cargo wagons? I think four cargo wagons. And so we're yeah we're starting on rails now. Um, so we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a train yard, and I'm gonna explain the concepts to you. Uh, honestly, um, not having iron in the factory actually isn't as detrimental as you would think. Uh, it, I mean, it obviously sucks, but um, I mean, all that happens is that the science doesn't really move, and you know, a bunch of other stuff. So it's actually not a big deal, believe it or not. Um, so that's good with that. So let's just make sure we have an overabundance of materials here uh, I don't think we're gonna need pipes weirdly enough but we are gonna need a, a great abundance of stack inserters uh, actually filter stack inserters in particular uh, what's the problem now uh, you don't have enough gears well we'll just get you some more gears and we're gonna need a lot of iron chests too we're gonna make mostly iron chests for this uh, little expedition. Not steel chest, because the steel is just too much. It's not, not necessary. Um, so I'll just offload the coal I had. No, I still have coal with me. Oh well. So this should be actually pretty good for what we want. And I'll take a bunch of chips, I think. Alright. So even though our factory is not going to be doing much, we need to get kind of get uh, our, uh, our bullshit going for this. So, I, I know nothing's going to be functioning properly. Let's go get our... Oh, uh, this is the chest full of this stuff. Alright, this is 400 rails, which is uh, probably enough. Um, we'll see, I guess. Uh, and I'll we'll set up the system for this. So, trains, trains are amazing in this game. Uh, do I need anything else? I, I probably should have enough for, like, some stops. And abundance of rail signals. Fortunately, it's just like, you know. I, I just need to have a bunch of materials with me, you know. Kind of the problem, you know. At, at least green chips is like nicely backed up, you know. That's, that's always nice. I love seeing that. Alright. Get rid of all this crap. Alright, so. Uh, okay, now, now I feel much better about this. So we got... Oh, I don't... Oh, yeah, that's enough. That's enough cars. Okay, so... The way it works in Death World is that... Uh, trains leaving our base... Um, are in danger automatically. Why are they in danger automatically? Well, simple reason. Um, they're not at the base. They don't have the protection of the turrets. They don't have the protection of the walls. Um, they're basically kind of fucked. So, uh, what we want um, in, in Death World, generally speaking, is small trains. And also, it's, it's also a matter of the outposts. You want to make the outposts small. So, you don't want to have a lot of space for the train. Like, you don't want to have, like, an overabundance of, like, like stupid space for the trains kind of thing. It's, it's just a waste. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start building our train network. What's this thing? Oh, this is the blueprint book. Oh. Do this okay um so i mean i could make some more steam uh some more power facilities but i i don't know if we actually do need that i know it spikes up occasionally like that it would be a good idea to make more power facilities but i, I did not do that all right concrete finished um we will eventually need fluid wagons but we can work on something like circuit network right now that's one of those nice things to have all right so the way it's going to work is trains are going to move uh, clockwise around the base. Alright, that's the first thing. So we're gonna give them, like, uh, so basically when they need to get into position, like, we basically, if, if all things being equal, we prefer 
Um, we, we prefer that the trains get stuck in the base. If there's any kind of uh, problem, uh, we want them to be stuck inside the base. We don't want them to be... Um, I actually may need more rails than this. Also, I should have brought my car. We should have brought our wheels. All right, let's um, let's uh, let's put up the the this thing. Because I actually need vision. So one of these things that one of the things that this thing does do is it grants us vision. Did something die? Oh, the the flamethrower turrets weren't completely on. Uh, maybe, maybe it shouldn't be like that. It should be like, more like this. All right. More radars. Actually, yeah. Probably could just hook it all into one, yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is how our, this is how the wall looks now. Uh, like, we'll, we'll leave it be. Like, we could actually start disassembling some of this crap here. So what, what was it that I wanted? I, I think I want, oh yeah, I want to have it make more rails. Uh, Cause that might become important. So yeah, we can start actually disassembling some of these um, turrets here. I'm not gonna do it right now though. Cause obviously there's better, bigger priorities that are more important. Such as uh, not losing. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna go get some of the steel here. So yeah, all right. So, what the fuck happened? Yeah, something died over there. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll pop by with our car in a minute. Uh, where's the rails? Here they are. Actually, what the fuck? Why did I put that in there? I'm I'm, I'm dumb. All right, so we'll we'll make it so like I have a stack of fifty on me. We give it some more stone. I actually have some stone with me. There you go. We just wanted to make uh, a little bit more rails because we actually might need more rails. Uh, and and yeah, like we don't want to spend too much time on this system right now because we need to start feeding in our... We need to f start feeding in our resources again. Oh, it looks like the that box is full. Ah, uh, okay. We'll do something like this then. All right. So uh, I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna just feed uh, this this thing some more stone, so we don't run out of stone. Probably could use more stone than that, but that's okay. Oh, there we go, another hundred. All right, where's our car? There's our car. All right, we need to travel around with our car because that's that's kind of important. All right, so we have how many bots do we have left? Seventeen. All right, we can only support having ten out at a time. Oh my god, what the fuck did I run over here? All right. I don't know what the fuck happened here, but yeah, let's, this is why, by the way, I don't put repair packs on myself. Because I'm going to run into shit all the time. Like that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright. Well, I mean, we should repair these guys at least, so. so we'll, oops. I don't want that. I don't want the walls. Fuck. You see what I mean about this? Like, it's like, it's, also I'm chopping trees out in my car right now. Alright, so we're just gonna go repair Areno these Arenos. Now, I'm not sure why that got hit so hard. I mean, the pollution cloud is around, and the, obviously this is not a, this is not a real wall. Alright. So we're good. Also, the, I, I know that rock appeared to be damaged, but it's actually really not damaged. All right, so intricate system we have. We're gonna just have them go over here and repair. All right, so this system that we're gonna have. So we we're, we want to have as many in our base as possible for trains, um, and we want to make it kind of expandable as well. Uh, that's kind of the, the the plan. So what we do is we make uh, kind of train a train waiting yard kind of a thing. So, uh, this is kind of how it's going to appear. It's going to be a little bit strange. Uh, actually, it should go way more to the side. I did not leave nearly enough space here. 
In fact, actually, I'd say it should just go all the way up here. There's actually, there's actually no reason it can, can't just go all the way here. All right, there you go. So uh, this is going to be the train waiting yard. Um, so this is this is kind of how I do my trains. All right. And then like that, I think. So we want to have a, a space for three three trains. So you can actually see there's a kind of an outline here of how this looks. Uh, and so this is actually perfect right here. I, I think I actually made the perfect distance for this basically. We want to have it. Okay, maybe maybe it needs like another one or two. Uh, and so I know this is like a little bit of a weird concept to you right now, uh, but I'll explain it all in due time. So, and you'll see kind of the final result. So. The, the idea is that um, we don't care about um, we, we don't care about the throughput of the uh, of the trains inside the base. What we want to do is we want to stem the trains leaving the base. We want to make sure that they get to where their destination as quickly as possible and they hopefully don't see any kind of like major issues. So here you go. Uh, this is number one. If I actually hover over this, it kind of shows me, yeah, this is a bit longer than it needs to be, but that's okay. Perfectly fine. And actually, we don't actually want that kind of signal. Uh, we want chain signals. And you'll learn what chain signals are in a minute. This is a, a, a weird concept, I know. Uh, do I want it here? So, the idea is that uh, you're allowed to have as many trains waiting for a station, but you do not want them to ever stop um, outside the base or to hold up other trains. This is these these are the rules we have. So do you see these lines? These are blocks um, for the trains, and this is how Factoria works. It makes a bunch of blocks uh, and it goes like, oh hey, uh, we can also destroy this. I actually don't mind destroying this. It makes a bunch of and only one bot can accompany a, a comp uh, encompass one block at a time. That's that's how the system works. So we can just delete all this. I didn't see I'm using the deconstruction planner for this. Uh, I guess we don't really need this to be here. Yeah, actually, I can just. I don't even know why I'm deconstruction planning it. By the way, this game turns into like a bit of an RTS if you if you choose it to be that. All right, so this is done, and this. Oh, we need gates. We're gonna need gates. All right, so that's done. So we we so the way chain signals work. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll get we'll get more into it later. Let me just kind of do my thing. So trains trains are automated in this game. You kind of set a schedule and we go like, oh hey, I want you to you know go somewhere here and then do something else. All right. Unfortunately, and this is very unfortunate. I think that this thing this system here is actually in the way. Uh, it's actually probably not that much in the way. Actually, we can keep it the way it is. Because I'm just gonna have it go out to the side anyways. Um, it's just, it's just a planning thing. Because we actually want to have... Uh, our stations kind of be very minimalistic. What the fuck is your problem? Oh my god. Alright, uh, we gotta go the back there and fix that. Where's our car? Fuck. And it's what happens when you don't take your car with you. So we want our stations to be as minimalistic as possible um, and all that kind of jazz. They're gonna, they're gonna do some work, aren't they? Kind of thinking of loading autosave. Uh, how fast are they going through this stuff? Okay, you know what, that's our laser turret, so... Uh, fuck, that is actually really far back. Alright. <laughs> Highly unfortunate, but... uh. Uh, I'll, I'll just repeat what I just did in a second. All right, I'm just destroying this again, and I basically did it. I, I, I added like an additional wall layer there because fuck that. Uh, we'll just save it as LP what. All right. So, like I said, uh, the plan is so we can now make a stop here, uh, and so we want it to be have three cargo trains of just just a healthy three. Uh, and that seems to be good about because you can actually see it uh, if I place it like that. You can uh, like do the, the outlines. So if like I if I actually place the train, uh, we'll have it right here, and then I kind of put 
two cargo trains, and that's it. Now, you're going to wonder what the third one is for, and uh, you're going to see later what that's for. Uh, we're, not we're not utilizing it right now. Uh, it's a plan for later, but we want our tracks to support uh, three. That's, that's just the, the magic number. And as you can see, yeah, so this, this works perfectly fine. So the way chain signals work, they're actually kind of really cool. Um, so if I make another station here, because uh, we're going to have multiple stations. So I make mine four wide. Uh, how much just how much space is here? Oh, there's an abundance of space. Okay, so I make I make mine I make my stations four wide. Um, that's how I that's how I always do it. And so um, we this is where we basically offload the trains and also refuel them and, and all that kind of jazz. Like we do all that shit here. Um, so we're gonna have to bring in light oil. Luckily, light oil is actually pretty close by. And uh, I guess I guess uh, the steam engines didn't actually really get in the way. Fortunately for us, because we're, we're also going to probably build in the, the other direction as well, uh, all in due time. Uh, probably because the wall is going to have to come up first. I'm going to have to move these steam engines, I think. I, I, I feel like I have to. Anyways, um, so we can... I, I'm just going to have one station here. That's fine. All right, so then uh, this becomes a block as well, I guess like that. So... Generally speaking, when you have these blocks like this, it means that only one train can occupy it at one time. So as you can see, like, this is red because there's a train in there already. This is green. Now you're wondering what the chain signals were for. Uh, they're blue. They're blue right now. Uh, they have they have red, blue, and green. So red means stop, green means go, obviously. So if a train wants to go through this one, it's perfectly fine. Blue is a very special case. Blue means... Um, I don't... Blue essentially means I don't know. Uh, oh, so it, it, it kind of means like um, there is a free spot, there is a free way, but it's like it's conditional. It's like if let's say let's say I have like an iron stop and a copper stop, right? And the train is carrying iron and it's trying to get to the iron stop, but the, the copper slot is free, but the but it's trying to get to the the station with the iron in it, and so like, it, but it could technically pass through. That's what blue means. Blue means that. You can go through, but you may not want to, because you may be waiting for something. So that's kind of how that works. A little bit, a little bit of a complicated thing. You'll kind of see how it works. And that's why we use the chain signals because they're just kind of uh, they're there, and we can also deconstruct trees now. This is some efficient lumberjacking. All right. So, as I said, I, I kind of warned you it was a bit of a strange uh, concept, um, but yeah, that's kind of how it works. Um, I'll just pick up all that. Alright, so, like I said, we're, we're on the... Um, we're, we're doing a clockwise uh, kind of a layout here. So basically, we just kind of hope to ourselves that we never have to leave the base through this way. Uh, is that? I need to get this a bit closer. Where did I leave my car? Oh, down there, of course. This is why you bring your car with you when you make rails, because then you wonder where it is, and then it ends up being really far away. All right, that's it. So we have now a loop for this, um, and we need to now we need to make lots of signals because this this blocks things off. This makes it so that you, we can kind of tell uh, what the fuck's going on, kind of thing, but. Um, generally speaking, we're, we're actually much better off. Alright, let's just pick up all this crap. Yeah, just give me, give me your stuff. Um, so yeah, so these are conditional signals then. Uh, so that's, it's, it's not really, uh, it's not really a interesting revolutionary concept. Uh, but all we do is so like you can actually see it's blocking it's making blocks So the trains will wait if there's another train occupying the block in front of it And that is how you prevent collisions in this game very similar to open TDD actually how do these work? And so yeah, uh, the more technical term for the block uh, the chain signals is a uh, pre signals actually kind of I think what they're called I will have this guy over here All right make some more Fuck you. So we're, we're adding just an abundance of signals so that trains can uh, can just pass through. 
And that's it. Okay, so that's done. That is completely done. All right, so the next thing we work on is uh, the unloading of the trains. Uh, and that's a very simple process as well. Uh, so I, we use... I'm gonna put stack inserts. So the whole so we use stack inserts because that is the fastest kind of. Uh, oops, uh, we use these kinds of stack inserters. We use filter stack inserters, and it's actually gonna be a good reason for that. Um, we basically want it to unload the, 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 these trains as fast, quickly as possible, and so we're gonna actually go with four unloaders. These are gonna unload uh, iron ore. So we can actually copy that over, and we have a couple of chests. So we want to load and unload them as quickly as possible. And then, and then very simply put, we then do, uh, I, don't, I don't know how this actually will unload. Uh, we need some fast inserters though. I've, sorry, fast, uh, whatever these things are. There's actually a good reason why I, I left space on the sides and this is gonna be something for another time that you're, you're gonna see. So if I, uh, I have to basically add some power poles over here. Somewhere here, I don't know where. Be like here, whoa. All right, yeah, we gotta do something like this. Crazy. All right, so now they have stuff. So now let's, let's just kind of uh, give it a bunch of belts here and, and this thing. All right, unloads on that side. I was, I was kind of wondering about that. All right, so we kind of, we wanted to make a, we wanted to saturate two belts. Um, uh, so how do we do that? That's a very good question. Actually, I think it's fine to do that. What does it do? It does it on that side. Okay, yeah, never mind. All right, all right. This is where we're, we're, we're trying to develop a good system for this. All right, there you go. That's, that's what we'll do it. That should do it. All right, so this will do two full belts of iron ore coming off. Uh, gates finished, I thank goodness. Um, re realistically, I don't need anything else here. Um, everything else here is just worthless to me. Um, I mean, this one's good, but I mean, it's like, do you want to spend a bunch of resources to make uh, something like that you're not really going to need right now? And so we don't need it. So we're not going to bother with it. All right, we're done with that. Uh, so now we need to pipe over some light oil. Uh, this is a very important thing as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna take over one thing here. All right, so we need to bring over some light oil. Light oil is actually going to be a huge component of a lot of things we do with these trains. Going to actually be particularly important. Uh, how far down can I go here? All right, so this is kind of like it, it this is gonna be used more than one time believe me on this All right, so actually I, I don't like how I did this Because this is actually this is gonna be in the way of the rail network although Although it just occurred to me that the the this is in the way too, but it's still good actually. I actually don't care. Actually no, this is fucking weird. SMS Park. It, okay, the the stations are named after I think like Kickstarter supporters or something weird. All right, I I didn't make the rules here, guys. I I only play the rule. I only play the game. And I don't I don't make up names for this this stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure SMS Park is very, very appreciative of its contributions to society. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to pipe over this stuff. It's not going to be fun. Because I have to, I have to figure out a good system for this because fucking, every, like everything's in the way here. It sucks. But it's kind of what we have to do, actually. So we need, we absolutely, positively need to bring uh, light, light, light oil up here, so uh, there's no other way of doing it. Alright. So let's do something like this, maybe. Uh, maybe not. 
Okay, actually, uh, uh, no, that's not a good plan. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, okay, that's still connected, thank thankfully. Alright, actually, this, this does work. It actually works perfectly fine. Let's do this. Alright. So I do that. Let me bring it down. Kind of just like making these line up, actually. Satisfying. Alright. So we're good here. Alright. Uh, so one of the very first things we're going to do is have uh, a, a, an oil processing plant here. And I guess we'll just kind of make it right here. Or no, maybe not. Okay, well, let's just let's just make the system that is going to um, fuel the train. So because of the fact we love automation so fucking much in this game, uh, like automation is king. All hail our automation kings. Um, we want to have... We want to have the trains fuel themselves. And so in order to do that, we got to have something that basically just offloads. Uh, I don't want my combat loadout. Oh, actually, we can't do that. Shit. It needs to offload uh, fuel for the trains. And it needs to offload it like right here. Yeah. So it's going to basically offload light uh, light fuel, because like, this, this is the best fuel source for our oil purposes. So that's why we do it like this. And ta-da, we are now making solid fuel. The solid fuel then gets picked up, put on the train. Ta-da. And that's it. That This will fuel all of our trains down the line for the foreseeable future. We don't have to worry about that. And this guy, so you can see he's getting his fuel, and we can now change his color. So what I do in my games is I color my trains based upon the resource that they're carrying. So this is a, um, an iron ore train. And on top of that, I can also color the station, and then I can also call it iron. Oops, not iron, B. I just call it iron. And you'll realize the reason for this. So you, you want to name your stations, obviously, for organizational purposes. Uh, can I just do something like over here? Yeah, I guess that's good enough. All right, so that's that's good. We don't have to concern ourselves anymore with this. Um, right now, the, 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 the train stop is essentially, in my opinion, done. We, we don't care, we don't care anymore. All right. So, uh, now we go out on a little adventure. Um, so I, I don't want the trains to, oh, you know what I just realized? Fuck. Uh, how bad is this gonna be? Yeah, okay. So, we want them to leave. Luckily, actually, it's not that bad. But it still means that I have to do something like this. Oh my god. Now, I don't have quite something great worked out for this. Next part. Um, so... One of the problems is we need to get our trains outside and the flamethrower turrets are highly detrimental to the way this works because flamethrower turrets damage the trains. Uh, it's just obviously not the best thing in the world. We want the trains to be good and um, alive. So we got to make some kind of system for bringing the trains in. So this is how they leave the base. I guess I'm just going to... Actually, I should give it a little bit more space than this. We're going to say the trains are going to be two tiles apart at all times. Like that. Yeah, this is pretty good. Alright, so that's how that works. Um, and w this is also why we have gates. Because we just made a gate system. So... Uh, now the trains can leave. They can leave the base. There you go. That's their first stop. So as you can see, it goes out one way, and uh, apparently we have British trains because they're going to be on the left side. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, uh, uh, whatever. We, we're not using uh, the freedom system for this. We're using the uh, the plebeian way. Oh well. Anyways, uh, so this is like 
So we, we actually just completely removed the flamethrower turret on the side. Uh, it still can cover that area, but that's really bad, actually. We, we, we really don't want the turrets to actually really flame up the the these lines, but I mean, we'll, we'll deal with it if it becomes a problem. Right now, we kind of have to work, concern ourselves more with getting our iron supplies there. So that's it for that. So once they're out of the base, they're, um, they're basically on their own. And we have issues with that kind of a thing. So, so as long as they clear the flamethrower turrets, which it appears that they are, yeah, we don't, I'm not worrying myself with that. Then, we're, then, then they're fine. Now you see what what you see me doing is I'm, do, I'm making a loop here, uh, and loops are pretty important for uh, the trains because. If you if you want them to have as many opportunities to turn around and th and do things like that as much as possible, um, so we we still are putting on uh, signals in in various places. But if you have opportunities for them to turn around, and I just noticed that there is a conjugation going on here. If they have opportunities to turn around, they're they're basically much more. Uh, they have we have much more freedom in terms of where to send them and things like that. So. Uh, so now we're gonna concern ourselves with getting this iron ore patch. Uh, so we need to secure it first. This is now a combato thing, but that's okay. More, more bot combat. There, you can see that we're taking a bit of damage at times. It's actually the biter evolution is much higher than it was in my other uh, de uh, death world. But then again, I, I did have a, a little bit more resources close to me. I had that going for me. Anyways, uh, so we're going for this iron ore patch. Now, one of the bigger problems with the way how this works... Um, unfortunately, is that when, when we have power lines outside the base like this... Uh, they're not unlikely to attack it. Uh, well, so, okay, well, okay. Sorry, that's the wrong phrasing. Um, they can attack it, but it's not a pollution generating building, so they prefer not to. All right, so we're doing uh, we're doing this again. Yeah, you remember this, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, fuck you guys. Come here. Oh, should we need to? Okay, I did get rid of the repair packs. We probably lost a bot somewhere, but it's okay. Alright. I don't have any fish with me. That's okay. We don't I don't think we're gonna need any. We're uh, we're doing combat right now, so it's all good. Also I never cleared out this base. But that's okay. Maybe maybe we'll do that when I Take a bit of a break. Uh, what's your problem? Uh, I think a bot got destroyed. Yeah. All right. So that's good. Uh, it's just deconstructor planner. This stuff. So we gotta get probably these lower bases as well. Um. With that. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is a good time to end the episode. So I'm going to basically, you're going to notice how I'm making power lines go out towards this iron ore patch. Uh, we're going to clear out these bases. Maybe I'll clear this one out too. And then after the break, uh, you'll see, we'll, we'll set up our very first outpost. So that might be fun. All right. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.